Hi everybody, uh, Martin here again. Just a little tip uh, to show some people who want to create their own header graphics and stuff like that. But for those of you who are feeling a little bit creative, this is how I started off doing my header graphics without paying anybody. I mean, first of all, you want to visit a site uh, called iStockPhoto, and you can find that at iStockPhoto.com. Okay, so I've just logged into iStockPhoto. Now, what you've basically got here is a search box. So, for example, uh, I'm going to be looking for a header. I'm going to be creating a header graphic uh, for, for this example. Uh, so, I'm going to I'm going to want a picture of a computer, perhaps. And it gives you a tick box option here for things that you can actually download and check on. Now, I only want photos, so I'm going to leave the illustrations out. I'm going to leave the flash. Uh, thing icon uh, unchecked and also I'm going to leave the video clip icon unchecked now I'm going to press search so again what I'm doing by pressing search is actually searching the database of iStock photo for some sort of image I can use in my header graphic now because I'm going to be making a header graphic the image I, I want um, is going to basically for me to import it over uh, a graphic I'm going to want a white background and I'll show you why a bit later so for example these are the results it's pulled up and as you can see there's many different various types and there's pages and pages down there um, this is obviously an image if you, as you can see if you hover the mouse over it gives you a larger picture of the image and let's say for example we chose this woman uh, here with a white background now what you would do you would click on the image double click on it and what that will do will take you to the, the page where you can actually purchase the image for your project now for the sake of a header graphic extra small is fine and that will only cost you one credit as you can see here's the price structure of the actual credit plan to buy 10 credits for example would cost you 11 UK pounds now what I'm going to do now is take you to uh, Adobe Photoshop this is Adobe Photoshop Elements 4 and you can buy a copy of this uh, off of eBay for example for around ten pounds now this is the, I've, I've clicked on the new icon there and we're now presented with width and height things which we're going to type in and I want the width to be 750 pixels wide and I want the depth of the uh, the height for the uh, header graphic to be 150 and then just click OK now what the program's done there basically is give me a blank template for me now to add stuff onto. So what I'm going to do is let's say for example scroll down to the bottom there to the gradient tool and these are the different gradients as you can see there I'll click on that blue one for example I'll hold the mouse over the top left hand corner and I'll drag a diagonal line and let go and as you can see that gradient is actually filled in if I'm to reverse it, just go the other way. And the gradient goes the other way. If I wanted the gradient to go from top to bottom, I'd hold the mouse at the top of the bar, hold the mouse button down the left button till I reach the bottom, and let go, and it'll do the same. If I wanted to go from lighter to darker, I'll hold it at the bottom, and I'll drag it to the top. And it's that easy. I want to go from the other way. It's that easy to change. If you want to add any filters onto that, all you have to do basically is just ch choose one of the filters down on uh, the right hand side menu there for example. Let's have a look at um, stained glass for example. Hold your finger down on it and just drag it over to your area. It will give you some things where you can actually change. This. Can you see it changing now? You can actually change the actual border, all different things there, the light intensity, the darkness, once you're happy with that click OK so once we've played about with the color background which we require as we've done there as I said this is just an, an example um, if you want to go back to a solid color again or anything you want to undo anything you've just done if you go up here you just press the back button the undo button as you can see what I'm doing and it goes back every step of what you've actually done even right back to the very beginning when we first input put our first color in so for this example, let's leave it for that. I've just given you a few examples on how you can use the different filters there. Right, so we'll look at that. So we're happy with the way that color works. Um, and I'm now going to open up the file there. 
and I'm going to look for the images wherever I've stored them on my uh, computer here we go these are two images which I've used in previous uh, promotions of, of things I've done and let's look for this uh, hand holding the money again it's the extra small size they only cost uh, one credit now what I'm going to do now is to get rid of all the white background so that we're just left with the image and the way to do that is to get this little uh, magic wand tool here and I'm just going to hold it over the white uh, I'm going to click once now once I've clicked once what I'm going to do then is to go up to where it says select and then I'm going to click the word inverse now what that's basically done it is actually just sent the dotted line around our image which we want to transfer so what I'm going to do now is go to the edit window and I'm going to copy that image like that once I've done that I'm going to bring our banner back up by clicking on it I'm going to go to the edit window again and I'm going to click the word paste right as you can see that image now has been transferred onto our banner in the middle so what we want to do now is basically locate it in the right place so as you can see that um, magic wand tool is still highlighted for us to work on this and place it in the right position we want to just put that little cross over the move tool and tick that like that and we're going to now tick the little show bounding box because there is actually a box around there which we can move and play about with but it's not highlighted at the moment so if I just tick that little box you can see it now becomes visible what I can do then is basically resize the image hold over and drag it up hold over drag it up to where I want still want to make it a bit more smaller yep it looks a bit out of proportion at the moment so what I'll do I'll just that's a bit better okay and just put it on the page wherever you want it let's say for example there once you're happy with that click on the tick and remove the show bounding box tick and you'll be left with uh, your image directly put onto your background what you then do obviously is go to your text tool draw your text box on there I'll only do this uh, as a, as just to show you what you can actually do with this writing as well so I've just inserted uh, some words there for example cash on tap if you're happy with the color and you're happy with the font you can even play about with this even further so just click your, your tick um, we can now this little box here as you can see it, we can change the um, the actual font and add some special effects to it so if we click that as you can see we've got um, a list of things we can do here and let's look at um, simple sharp as you can see I've just put a uh, a bevel edge on that and there's there's different styles of that you can use just to add the professional touch which you can see when other graphic artists do your um, graphics so this is the sort of thing you can actually do uh, with regards to changing and making your text really stand out uh, if you want to add uh, anything else there's a little arrow there if you click that little arrow you can actually see that you can put different things onto your text effects now I like quite like the outer glows for example so if you actually click on outer glows it gives you another uh, list of categories of, of stuff you can do and there's a heavy outer glow uh, a different one there a noisy one small noisy oh, I like the actual blue ghost one that sort of just highlights that as well but I hope this is just showing you how simple it is actually once you've got some very simple tools which is um, Photoshop Adobe Photoshop Elements 4 and that is £10 uh, I've, I've actually just done this on a £10 piece of software you can get off of eBay and I opened an account with iStockPhoto.com you pay up front £11 is the cheapest you'll get 10 credits for pick your images as I've shown you and start planning about and creating your own professional header graphics from your own PC in your spare time this is Martin just showing you another little tip there thanks very much indeed